Hello and welcome to my revisit of Gilmore Girls. The episode I'm going to be watching today is Season 2, Episode 19, Teach Me Tonight. So thank you to Linda and Angela for recommending the episode. Now, what are my predictions for this episode? Well, I know it somehow involves Jess and Rory. I'm guessing maybe Rory asked Jess to teach her how to drive and that would be their journey for the episode is like driving around town maybe or or he gives Rory the keys and I'm guessing Lorelai maybe has her own journey with whoever she's currently dating at this point in the story and then t- towards the end they come together compare notes about how both their nights ended in disaster and how they're gonna deal with it the next day yeah that's my guess let's find out if I'm right Mm. Marty's an ambitious snake in the grass. What? The jar twirl, the double bagging, the have a nice day, ma'am, after every customer. That guy's got an agenda. He wants to be manager. He's out to take Dean's job. Dean better hurry back from his grandmother's house. They're not going to fire Dean. For starters, someone stole Taylor's ladder last week, and Dean is the only one who can reach the top shelf. Interesting. Just as Marty shows up trying to take Dean's job, Taylor's ladder mysteriously disappears, suddenly making Dean invaluable no matter what. Does she think about Dean a lot? I bet she does. Also, it allows me to keep an eye on the take a penny pot here, make sure people aren't pocketing those pennies for their own personal gain, but are legitimately using them to make exact change. Okay, so that's what the take a penny, leave a penny thing is about. Only ever heard about it once before. It was, um, Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Oh yeah, it's movie in the square night again. Great. We'll be there. What's the movie this year? You chose the yearling again? It is a fine, wholesome motion picture. You've shown the yearling the last three years in a row. So there's a town event going on. Yay. Fine, you do it. You pick the movie. Seriously? I've had it. You have such strong opinions about everything. You go out and try to find a movie that everybody will enjoy. It's all yours. Uh Uh-oh. I relinquish my movie-picking crown to you. Well, that's going to end in disaster. I got his crown, and it looks great on you. For now, it does. But, you know, heavy lies the head. Wizard of Oz. The Sting. Rocky. Arthur. Yes. Or... Sophie's Choice. Very similar. Oh man, I can't choose. There's too many great movies. Was the X-Men movie out yet? Dad, hi. Hey, kiddo, what's going on? <sighs> hey, listen, uh, I've got to cut this talk short, but I sent you an email. Do you want to say hello to mom before you go? Uh, no, I can't. I really need to run. Right. He says hello. He does not. Are you going to tell me what it is you two are fighting about? I'm not fighting. Okay, they're beefing. I'm late for school. We'll finish this later. After school, Luke's? I'll be there. Taking exams again. Fifteen minutes left. Oh, never mind. This isn't her school. This is the, um, the other school that she left. I thought that was a ghost for a second. Lane. What is he doing in there? Shh. I need a pencil. I don't have one. Then I need a pen. You only have 15 minutes left. Then I need the answers. There's a pen in my bag. You don't even have the paper. What is he doing? Come in. Yeah, I, I got a call. You wanted to see me? Um, uh, Luke Danes, just Mariano's uncle. Just Mariano. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So is everything okay? I didn't see any cop cars or fire trucks out front, so... Please, have a seat. A seat, so... Okay, what's he done? Why do you assume he's done something? Oh, I don't know. You're staring at a folder that's looking a little thick there. I... <laughs> no homework, no class participation. His attendance record is erratic at best. His attitude towards his teachers, it ranges from indifferent to hostile. He shows no interest in school activities or other students, and there is the issue of the disappearing baseballs. I'm sorry, what? Every baseball on campus seems to have disappeared. Oh, come on. You don't think just seriously. Yes, yes, I do. You're going to have to do a lot more than talk to him. You're going to have to help him. Me? Oh. No, I'm not the one you- It's your responsibility. Well, if you can't help him, you're gonna have to find someone who can. Oh, that's where Rory comes in. Well, maybe you need to hire a tutor. A tutor? Oh, jeez. Mr. Danes, Jess is flunking out. He's not going to make it. Now, if something is not done about that right now, he's going to repeat this year. And he will repeat the year. That's where we are, then I'll just have to figure something out. Good. And let's not forget about those baseballs. Been using tennis balls for a couple of weeks. Wow. Very different results. I'm sure it is. Home runs everywhere. I have something for you. What? This. 
What is this? That is the list of titles that are available for you to pick from for the movie night. Okay. I'm sorry, can't we just pick our own movie? Movies are expensive and we get fabulous deals with this particular place. And they're very friendly and since it all goes to charity, they agree to give us anything on that list for free. So it's a bunch of movies they've never seen before. They put the movie title over here and a brief description of the storyline over here. Arctic Flight. Man of plane flies chartered to Alaska, hired by bear hunter who turns out to be Russian spy. Love story develops with pilot and school teacher. Eskimos do tribal dance. You made this up. Don't I wish. Hmm. Huh. Sudden danger. Mom dies of gas asphyxiation. Oh my god. Oh good, you're here. What is he doing? So you file those under the band names? Genre. Right, genre. Oh, what is that? Something for school? Nope. Oh, well, shouldn't you be reading something for school? Why? I don't know. I mean, I know you like reading, and since you like reading, you might as well read something you're going to get graded on so you can get graded on. Oh, my God. Put the hammer down. What are you babbling about? I went to see your principal today. Huh. He says you're flunking out. He says you're not showing up for class. He says you stole their baseballs. You stole their baseballs? Why would you... <laughs> Why would you do that? What could you possibly need 500 baseballs for? Can we talk about this later? Why, you got a big frisbee heist going down at six? Yeah, he's a kleptomaniac for sure. You have to think about the future. If you don't get through high school, who's gonna hire you? You're not gonna have any skills. Stuff. How are you gonna work? Uh, how are you gonna eat? How are you gonna pay rent? What are you gonna do, Jess? Jeez, I don't know. Maybe you'll work in a diner. Hmm. I have now finished going through every single one of these movies, read them, reviewed their merits, and I'm proud to announce that I have chosen our movie. Which is it? How does the yearling sound to you? Perfect. And bye bye. Pauline! I made some brownies. I thought you might like some. Brownies, eh? You probably have a diner full of people who would love these brownies. Well, I accidentally dropped triple the amount of cocoa powder in the batter, so I either had to dump the batch or find someone with some sort of superhuman chocolate tolerance. Only one name came to mind. You're gonna ask for something. Is Rory here by any chance? Yeah, she's in her room. Can I talk to her for a sec? Hey, what's up? Not much. Can I? Um, yeah. Come on in. Because why does she dress like that? Oh, he's part of her uniform. So I see you're studying? Yep. It's good. Studying's very, very good. What you doing right there with the books? <laughs> I wanted to ask you a favor. I was wondering if you could tutor Jess. What? He's not doing too well. How much are you going to pay? I was wondering if you could help. Rory asked for money. Uh, what subject does he need help in? I'd say all of them, probably. If you could just get him through a couple of his next tests, maybe... Sure. Great. Ask for money. Tonight? Tonight. I really appreciate this. Rory, money. You should get back to your studying, otherwise you're completely useless to me. Okay, uh, so I'll see you guys at dinner, probably. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, Rory's gonna tutor Jess. Wow. Okay, I should be getting back. Enjoy the brownies, I'll... I mean, that's something you should have asked the mom first. Hey, Luke, hang on just a sec. Yeah. About Rory doing this tutoring thing. I really appreciate it, by the way. I know you do. I just, Rory's so sweet, and she would never say no to anyone because she loves to help. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's the best idea. Why not? Well, she's got her own studies to worry about. Don't you need, like, a professional tutor to help with Jess? You know, somebody with a degree and a pipe and one of those coats with the elbow patches on it? I need someone Jess is going to listen to. Nobody wears those anymore. He likes Rory, and Rory's on the path that I'd like to see Jess on school and college. He needs to see somebody he respects doing what he should be doing. And Rory's the only person I can think of who fits that description. Yeah, but you don't know for sure that he'll listen to Rory. No, but I gotta do something, don't I? I mean... We need to try. Okay, just make sure it's not too much time, okay? I will. Okay. He won't. Enjoy the brownie. Mm. She didn't ask for money either. I need one minute of your time. I'll give you two because you scare me. I hear through the grapevine that you are the one in charge of selecting the movie for this year's movie night. He has suggestions. Eh? I don't know if you know this about me, but I have great creative ambitions. I do know that about you. What do you need from me, Kirk? I've made a short film that I've been working on for about five years now, and if I rush, I can have done by Thursday night. A short film that took you five years? It would mean a great deal to my career. What kind of movie is it? Oh, you mean is it blue? No, perfectly PG. Here's a copy of the film. Hey. Take a look and call me. And remember, I can edit out two of the hells, but I need to keep all the dams. It's a street cred thing. <laughs> 
uh, just in case, and I don't think he will, but if Dean calls, will you tell him I'm a plane? I thought you said this was nothing. It is nothing. That you guys were just studying? Well, yeah. Then how come I have to lie to Dean? Well, you know as well as I do that it's not going to be okay with Dean if I'm studying with Jess. Then maybe you shouldn't be. I mean, if you feel weird enough about it that I have to lie to Dean. I'm not asking you to lie to Dean. I mean, yes, you are. You guys done yet? Just not yet. Okay, well, I'll be right over there when you are. Just can't wait for that learning to begin. Hey, are we gonna do some of those Schoolhouse Rock songs? Mm. <laughs> if you just make learning fun. Give us a minute, okay? I love Schoolhouse Rock. As your body grows bigger, your mind must flower. It's great to learn, cause knowledge is power. So, are you ready to start? Yes, I am. Where are your books? Huh, I don't know. How are we gonna study without your books? I guess we can't. Too bad. Yeah, they're not gonna study. He's gonna drag her to his level. That is a very red apple. Explain to me the political ramifications of the Marshall Plan. Pick a card. Damn. He doesn't care that you're here? No, he doesn't. He's visiting his grandmother. Where? Chicago. So he doesn't know? It wouldn't matter. So you'll tell him when he gets back? We're studying. You're studying? I'm prying into your personal life. Jess, why won't you at least try to remember the Marshall Plan? Have you ever read Please Kill Me? Uh, I forgot this was a possibility. Why would you even agree to the studying thing in the first place? Because Luke said I had to. You've never done anything because someone said you had to. He's obviously there because you were there. Come on. Hey, do you want to get out of here? What? I'm sick of studying. He's trying to treat this like a date, Rory. Sick of studying? You haven't done any studying. You've done card tricks. You've made coffee. You've tried to explain to me how on earth Coldplay could be considered an alternative band, but as of yet, no studying. Damn. Coldplay's been famous. Wow. Let's go get some ice cream. Well, so if we go get ice cream, In cones. Then you will be a perfect student for the rest of the night? That's right. I saw a picture of them in a car when I was looking up the episode, so I knew they would somehow end up in a car together. Take the wheel. Jess. I'm letting go. Stop. Take it back. Okay. I got it. Jeez, you look pale. You okay? Yeah, she's not big on dying, buddy. This ain't Fast and Furious. You know you're smarter than most everybody at your school. It takes you like five minutes to finish a book. You read everything, you remember everything. You could ace those classes easily. Why don't you? And is it like a cool thing? He's lazy. And a kleptomaniac. I'll live where I live, I'll work when I need money, and I'll see where I end up. You could do more. <laughs> oh, here come the pom-poms. No, no pom-poms, just me saying you could do more. Sure, yeah, yeah. Where are they going? This is a long road. Okay, so I guess we should be getting back. Okay, so I just go straight and we'll be back at Luke's. Of course, I could turn right and then we just keep driving around in circles for a while. Turn right. As you wish. <sighs> Didn't know Luke's had a giant sign like that. Where are you? I need you to be calm. Calm about what? Calm about what I have to tell you. Where is she? I got in an accident. What? What? It was dark and this dog or cat or possum, I don't know, it was small and furry and it ran out into the middle of the road and Jess swerved and- Jess swerved? Yes. Jess was driving? Yes. Jess was driving your car and you got in an accident? But I'm fine and he's fine and the furry thing is fine. Okay. The car is a little messed up, but there's nothing for you to be worried about. Let's see it. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. Damn. My daughter's here. She was in a car accident. Her name is Rory Gilmore. Okay, just take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. It'll be one minute. Once again, I'm looking for my daughter, Rory Gilmore. First door on your left. Thank you. She found her name fast. She's fine. Well then, what's with the wrapping? <laughs> well, her arm hit the dashboard. She sustained a minor hairline fracture to her wrist. Miss Gilmore, I assure you, we were very thorough. I'm sure you were. I just would like some extra thorough. Uh, anything that could have possibly, in any scenario, affected this body, I want it checked out. Mm. I'll run a few more x-rays if that'll make you feel better. It will. The car's not so good. No, nobody cares about the car. Yeah, nobody cares about the car. I care about the mystery of the car, not the car itself. I'm gonna have the nurse take you down to x-ray now. Okay. Oh, can I go with her? I'm sorry, you have to wait outside. It'll be about an hour. It's gonna be expensive. She's gonna go find Jess. Luke! What's going on? I got here and they weren't here. Jess, answer me right now! 
What's wrong? What happened? It was an accident. What? What accident? Just was driving Rory's car and he crashed it. What? Oh, it was Rory's car. I asked you if anyone was hurt. Uh, was anyone hurt? Well, let's see. Uh, Rory's in the emergency room now with a fractured wrist. So yeah, I'd say someone was hurt. Rory fractured her wrist? Yes, she has to wear a cast. What about Jess? Is he hurt? Where is he? Okay, you just need to calm down. Why did you do this? What are you talking about? Why did I do what? Why did you bring him here? What? If you hadn't brought him here, none of this would have happened. This is my fault? Yes, it is your fault. You told him to come, you let him stay. Everybody hated him. Everybody knew he was trouble, but you wouldn't listen and you wouldn't send him home. And now... Lorelai's overreacting a little bit, but I'm still on her side. You kept pushing them together. You asked her to help him study. You knew she'd never say no. Yeah. I told you. It made me nervous. I told you. I didn't like it. And I should have stopped it right there. Yeah, you should have. Hey! I am sorry about Rory. You know I care more about her than I do myself. But at least you know where Rory is. Now I have to find Jess, and I have to make sure that he's okay. And if that cuts into your screaming time, well, that's just too damn bad. Go to hell! Right back at you. Damn, where's Dean when you need him? He can make this all better. I thought Kirk would be the driver of the tow truck. Chris? Hey, isn't this the same water we, we, we pushed him into? I made sure she was okay. I know you did. Got your TV, you got your books, your magazines, your, is your arm hurting you? Uh-uh, but the stuff they gave me at the hospital made me a little dopey. My little Marion, faithful. How many pillows do you need? Mom, you don't have to sleep in here tonight. I know, I just think the chair looks nice here. What? When he come in? Chris. What? Laura, is there anything? Shh, shh, shh. Should have called Dean instead. Jesus. I drove here as fast as I could, and I, you guys are already asleep, so I just grabbed a chair and. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Me too. Uh, I'm not. And I'm gonna need a picture of this Jess so I don't accidentally rip off the head of the wrong kid, because that would be bad. Could you all spring it into action? About time, don't you think? Yeah, where were you 16 years ago? The yearling? Uh-huh. Oh, that sucks. It so sucks. Does it hurt? Only when I remember how I got it. Here, angry girl for an angry arm. A sticker. So, tell me what happened. Oh, Lane, it was horrible. I've never been involved in anything so horrible in my life. I was busy, emotionally cheating, and then bam. Car accident. The movie's already starting? I thought it started at 8. Nope, this is a little pre-movie treat. Alright, Kirk's moving. I can't wait to meet your family. I'm very close to my family. I know this. That's why I can't wait to meet your family. <laughs> Daddy is quite protective. I'm his favorite daughter. He has good taste. I intend to tell him that. I love you. <laughs> Great exposition. Daddy. You are with my favorite daughter. You have good taste. Come in the house. I love you. Good shots. <laughs> I love your daughter. Who are you to love my daughter? What do you have to offer her? He is terrible acting badly. He's killing it too much. I was not expecting that. <laughs> wow. He raps later. A very strange reaction. Okay. It's so nice he decided to stay. Why is the next shot of him gonna be him on the ground trying to rotate or something? No, it's him wiggling. I wish I could stay longer. Stop the cap. You gotta get back to Sherry. Yeah, well, I wish I could stay. I wish you don't. I'm going for popcorn. I like it when he's here. Yeah. Me too. Guess I'm the odd man out. Let's eat! I did the choreography. Yeah. Patty, dog, come here! Wait, where's the part about him rapping? Last night, not long after the accident happened, Luke walked him straight to the bus station, stuck the kid on a bus, sent him home to his mom's. I can't believe Luke would send him off like that. As he should. Well, I heard the kid wanted to go. I don't know. All I know is that Jess is gone. 
fantastic news. Well, well, well. What will we do for entertainment around here? <laughs> no way Lorelai feels bad. She did the right thing. So that was Gilmore Girls. Two terrible people showed up this episode, but you know, they were balanced out by some nice appearances from the townsfolk. So that was good. A fun episode overall. Great movie by Kirk at the end. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.